Shalom, Mishpaka. Shalom to Yahuda. Shalom to Aphraim. Shalom to the companion who uh, even now is coming out of paganism and coming out of these pagan Circes, these pagan churches and coming out of other pagan organizations and pagan religions and coming out of the filth of Babylon, the myrrh, the muck of Babylon and being engrafted into the Ba'ayif of Yasharal, whereby becoming an adopted son to the same covenants and promise and inheritance that was given to Yasharal and to Yasharal alone. The importance of studying to show ourselves approved, of studying to show ourselves approved. Now the purpose of this video and this whole line of questioning Yasharal is to dispel once and for all that Yasharal is open, is available to both the native born and the stranger. Now there is no shortage of false doctrines that are going around that uh, falsely claim that uh, all white people are Edomites and that all white people are going to be slaves or some of them are going to be destroyed and that only the native born Yasharite, <clears throat> excuse me, is going to enter Yasharal. That's false. It is doctrines of demons. Uh, it is hate doctrine. There is no love in it. And if there is no love in it, then Elohim is not in it. I, I want to explore this morning and show you how Caleb and Yahusha, uh, <clears throat> how these two men are a foreshadowing of the nations being engrafted into Yasharal and to show how the nations can also become one with us and enter through the gates of the city and be privy to the same covenants and promise and inheritance. Uh, <clears throat> how these two men are a foreshadowing of the nations being engrafted into Yasharal and to show how the nations can also become one with us and enter through the gates of the city and be privy to the same confidence and promise and inheritance and to show how the nations can also become one with us and enter through the gates of the city and be privy to the same confidence and promise and inheritance and to show how the nations can also become one with us and enter through the gates of the city and be privy to the same confidence and promise and inheritance. And to show how the nations can also become one with us and enter through the gates of the city and be privy to the same confidence and promise and inheritance. And it says the son of Caleb, the son of Yefune, were Eru, Elah, and Naam, and the son of Elah. And yet his younger brother Aphraim is greater than he, and his seed is to become the completeness, the completeness of the nations. Now the Hebrew word here for completeness is the word melo, melo, and it means fullness or that which fills. It is from the, the root word male. Now the short definition again is full. And so we see in Aphraim that the who are the lost ten tribes, the lost sheep of the house of Yasharal, we see that he has become all nations. He has become all nations. He was dispersed to the four corners of the earth by the Assyrians in 722 BCE and dispersed to the four corners of the earth to all nations. And he has become the completeness 
of the nations. Not that all nations, not that everyone in every nation is Aphraim, but that he has mixed and mingled with all nations and thus he has become all nations. Thus that one cannot know who Aphraim is if you are looking for him and judging him by the color of his skin. There are Caucasians who are Hebrew Yashraelites who are Aphraim. There are Chinese and Indians and Japanese and Russians and Africans and Syrians and Iranians, etc. Who are all Aphraim. And he has become the completeness of of the nations, not that all nations, not that everyone in every nation is Aphraim, but that he has mixed and mingled with all nations and thus he has become all nations. Thus that one cannot know who Aphraim is if you are looking for him and judging him by the color of his skin. Thus that one cannot know who Aphraim is if you are looking for him and judging him by the color of his skin. Thus that one cannot know who Aphraim is if you are looking for him and judging him by the color of his skin. Is a great millstone. Shalom, love requirement that's to the elect. Shalom. Okay, this video is inspired by uh, the elder uh, and brother of, of Dallas, Yashawamba. Uh, he reposted a video off of pretty much a responding off of the apostles' video about Caleb being the Edomite. Okay, now I, I don't normally go into the details about the scriptures I just make the points to prove that these guys are nothing but hypocrites man these guys are nothing but church going uh, Israelites they're I mean Christian church Israelites okay they're Christian churches on roids okay they don't they're not about our heritage I'm looking at videos of him talking about uh, uh, mixed marriages lawful okay and uh, all kinds of crazy things. It, basically, what he's saying is, it doesn't matter if you're an Edomite, you can lay down with a so-called Israelite and be good. You know, this is his doctrine. Now, he inadvertently, what he's teaching, he doesn't know what he's teaching. That's why the scripture says, uh, let me get that first scripture to start this lesson off to show you how he's going off so much. Uh, this is Hebrews 5 and 12. For when... For when for the time ye ought to be teachers, ye have need that one teach you again, which be the first principles of the oracles of Yahweh. And this is why uh, us at Great Millstone, we catch so much flack, because the scriptures do talk about the nations. The scriptures do talk about the nations and the multitudes and how, you know, the nations are going to get to the uh, kingdom and is, is um, eventually... The nations, all the nations are going to get to the kingdom. But those nations are the, the uh, dispersed Israelites, okay, that are mixed amongst other people. What this guy doesn't realize that the scriptures is talking about uh, Israelites that are scattered amongst all, okay, all nations of people, okay? But what he's trying to do is say that the seed, he, he's going, he went back into, I uh, believe it was King Shalom is all the fifth, if I'm not mistaken, when the, the, they took counsel, the ten tribes left and dispersed. And what he's saying is their seed became other nations, and that's impossible. 
I know what he's saying, but he's he's thinking it wrong. Okay, he's trying to say the Israelites mingle with other nations, and now the other nations become Israel. No, what happens is the nation of Israel stays the nation of Israel. It's just that when we mix our seed amongst other nations, they follow these seeds that we mix follow other nations and their teachings and their doctrines, but they're still Israelites. Okay, that's the difference. But this guy's saying that you know you can lay with a Moabite. A woman possibly could lay down with a Moabite, and all of a sudden that that's a Moabite. Or a man could lay down with a Moabite, and that child that comes out is all of a sudden a Moabite too. That's not the case. That child will still be an Israelite. If that's not confusing enough. He doesn't understand lineages and how things work. Now, in the beginning of the video, he says um, um, something about the, um, what did he say? He says um, uh, about the pagan rituals, come out of the pagan rituals, come out of these holidays, come out of all wickedness. But this is being promoted and pushed by Esau. Meanwhile, this guy says Joshua and Caleb were Edomites, and they were set up, they was privately, which comes from whether privately or secretly, set up to bring other nations in. If that's not unbelievable. Out of all the people that the Most High could have used, to get to the promised land, this guy, of his people, now he said the law, statutes, and commandments was given to the Israelites. You mean the Most High is going to let Edomites get to the uh, promised land before his own people? That's crazy in itself, man. This guy is sick. Okay, and secondly, Esau is in the land now. Did he need Joshua and Caleb to do it then? If they were Edomites? I don't know, then that wouldn't fit the curses for us. Because then that, that means that we will all be in that land and we all be living good and gracious to this day. But we all not. If Joshua and Caleb were Edomites, then we will all be in a, in a symbol, as he claimed, that we will all be uh, have the covenant. And if that was the case, none of us would have the curse. We will all be together. I don't know. It's ironic that he calls... The Gentile, um, they, they call it, we were so-called Gentile heathens when we was in the churches, but now we woke up to the truth. They're saying we were Gentiles and we was grafted in to the so-called Jews that's uh, running the world. But now that we wake up to the truth, now all of a sudden we got to graft them in? This is crazy, man. Th that's why this scripture says, let's go to this scripture. It says Ecclesiastes 10 and 13, the beginning of his words, the beginning of the words of his mouth was foolishness and the end of his talk is mischievous madness. And that's this guy. He's all over the damn place, man. All over the place just to save Esau. All the wickedness that we got to endure amongst one another, the, the shootings and the killings, the bad, uh, uh, poor educational system. Okay, the poor healthcare system. Okay, the crack and the drugs. Only thing he's concerned about is saving Esau. Only thing he's concerned about is Esau being the, the head men of the covenant. If you ever gave us the kingdom, if the Most High gave us the kingdom of heaven right now to everybody, you know, Jake would hand the kingdom of heaven over to, to the Edomites and we'd be still shooting and killing and destroying the kingdom of heaven, man. Which it wouldn't be a kingdom of heaven. Leave it to Jake. Our whole, our whole kingdom would get destroyed, man. Okay? These guys do so much research to save Esau instead of to save his own people. You know why? Because Jake hates himself. Jake hate, hates himself. Uh, anyway, this is just sick, man. Anyway, this guy went on to say, uh, I'm just trying to hit the points. This guy went on to say, um, that uh, is all nations and people and multitudes that became Israelites, you know, and you just can't wake up one morning and become an Israelite. Okay. You are an Israelite by your nationality, bloodline of the father. Okay. The seed line. Let me say that because mothers have blood too. the mitochondria. I'm talking about the seed, the spermia, the spirit is of the father 
okay? Uh, and that's it. So if the father went around and had sex with all kind of nations, guess what? Those nations, uh, they're still Israelites. Okay, the ones, the baby, that, that child that come out will still be an Israelite. But the mother's still not an Israelite. Okay? So at the end of the day, yes. If they wake up and they're in China, yes. Now, that point being made because he's he's right on some of it, but he doesn't understand that he's uh, right. He He's actually wrong, but some of the things he's saying, if you look at it the way we see it, a uh, part of it is right. Because our, our, our nation will be amongst all other nations. So you're going to have people that's going to wake up that looks Chinese, that's going to look, look, wake up that looks Iran or Russian, okay, or Japan or wherever else in the globe that they are. We agree with that. But what he's saying is, if they heathens, it doesn't matter. They're going to come to the kingdom regardless. Okay? And they will. But they will, they will serve, uh, especially Esau. Esau will serve his slavery. And the other heathen nations, they will serve their part. Okay? And, and build up the kingdom of heaven. It's just as simple as that. Okay? Let's go to Hosea 1 and 10. Okay? Yet the number of the children of Israel shall be as the sand of the sea. See, this guy is trying to make heathens Israelites. And you can't do that. And that's the point I'm making. You can't make heathens Israelites. Okay? They're Israelites by blood. Okay? By spirit. By nationality. And our people are heathens too that don't believe. But you can't make a heathen nation Israelites. Goes on to say, which cannot be measured nor numbered. And shall come to pass that in a place where it was said unto them, ye are not my people, there shall be said unto them, ye are the sons of the living God, the living power. Okay? So this guy is off on so many levels, but what he's trying to do, he's just trying to uh, heap to himself, you know, uh, Jake, you know, that what everybody, see, as long as you got a religion that everybody follows, everybody could be a part of, you're going to have followers. And this is why we get these guys with all these followers. Even if you get these so-called, uh, in these Israelite sects, if you get, if you're a group that says black only can make it or uh, the confusion of face doesn't exist and you're just raw with it, then you're going to get a lot of, uh, you know, a lot of followers. But this truth ain't meant to have a lot of followers. It's only meant for uh, an elect. Okay. And I just noticed he had the Jewish looking flag hanging on his wall. That's crazy. But then all the hell that we going through and what the Jew, the fake Jews over, over there are trying to keep his, uh, our people out of there. He wants to grab them in. I, I don't get it. They don't want you, but you want them. <laughs> That's crazy. Uh, this guy. Uh, what can you say, man? Let's uh get the last scripture. I think this is what I'm going. Revelation 79. And after this, I beheld and lo, a great multitude, which no man could number, of all nations and kindreds and peoples and tongues. And this guy's thinking, hey, it's just everybody. If you're thinking on that level, you ain't nothing but a Christian, man. You are a Christian on roids because you're telling people they're Israelites. Look, man, and I, I've always said this. I have a problem with this, man. If you've waken up to the fact that you're an Israelite, this is your heritage. This is the, the, the rulership, leadership of the Israelites is the new governors or the new kings of this planet. The new uh, rule maker, so to speak. Okay, set up from the Most High, Yahweh Shai. Okay, uh, you start with the house of David. Okay, so the new, it's about putting the earth back and restoring the earth back in order. Why would you have heathens with you to restore the earth when the heathens and the top heathen, the Edomites, was responsible for destroying it? The whole point of you being a leader and a ruler, okay, and a king, so to speak, and coming into your heritage is to separate yourselves from other people. So don't call yourself an Israelite. What is the point of being an Israelite if everybody can be one? This guy is really trying to take the covenants and just throw them away. Hebrews 8 and 8 says um, the Lord will make a new covenant with the house of Israel and the house of Judah. That's crazy, man. That's all I have on that. Shalom.